Let's get into it. We got a comic book to give away. Jorge's hanging out. Jorge's down in that live chat, just licking his chops. <laughs> he gets the comic because I'm going to open up random reviews with Fantastic Four, number 236. Words and pictures by John Byrne. Letters by Jim Novak. I'm going to say these names wrong. Colors by Glennis Wine. Wind? Wine? Wind? I think so, sure. Sure, whatever. Uh, whatever. This issue released... November of 1981. You'll do you mm. know how old I was in November of 1981? Were you alive? I was four months old. Damn. I was negative four three. <laughs> I was uh, 11 years old. <laughs> I was swimming around in my daddy's sack. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized. Uh, I don't think so. You know, random reviews, we, we usually do the, the stuff we read this week that's not on the list to review, but uh, we were talking... Thursday after the wrestling council, which you can catch either here or over at Akari press. Uh, and you know, the stuff went down with Dan slot. I really don't want to get into it, but I told them, I said, you know, I, I love fantastic four. I've got all these. I'm, I've got Mark Wade's run. I've got John Burns run. I've got Matt fractions run. I've got all these comics Hickman's run just sitting around. And you'll like, you got to read fantastic Four number two thirty six. Why did you say that? Uh, it's a single issue story. It's a little longer. So it's a little meatier. And it's just probably, it encapsulates everything that John Byrne did for his whole career on Fantastic Four in one issue. And it's a Doctor Doom story. Everybody likes that. It's got other characters that you expect to see in a cool Fantastic Four story. And uh, yeah, it's just one of the best. Great art, great writing. Uh Eric Larson hates it. <laughs> oh, how can you hate this story? I sat down to read it, yeah. and I start I start going through it, and, and it was comics are so different back then. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it takes so much longer to read, but it's because they give you so much more information. But for me, it, it always puts a lot of pressure on me when somebody says, "Oh, this is my favorite Fantastic Four issue." It's like, what if I don't like it? You know, it puts a different pressure on you when you're sitting down to read something. But for me, I read it and I'm like, this is everything that I want from a Fantastic Four comic. You know, the team, they're in this, this, when you go, you, when you open it, I'm like, what's going on? I don't understand yeah. what's going on. They're living in this alternate reality. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what, what is this? Something's off. And then you, you come to find out they've been bamboozled by Puppet Master. And what I love about Puppet Master in all reality, he's not that much different from Reed Richards. He is trying to do for Alicia what he thinks is best for her. So Alicia is living in this alternate world where she's with Ben. She can see Ben's normal. She she is in a perfect world for her, right? And it's like, oh, so is Ben, right? That that's that. Well, that's so is my, Reed that's, Richards. He's at the university. It's great. Everybody is living their best life, and that's yeah. what makes it so good. But you come to find out that that he's working with Doom, and and all this stuff goes on, man. It's just it, it's. It's so good. And <laughs> it's like, it's like you said, talking about Ben Grimm. And we talked about, you know, that Grimm Noir book and how it's such a oh, depressing man. story. So he's living in this alternate world that Puppet Master and Doom created. It's like a little model city. It's a model city. And, and Ben doesn't want to go back. You know, they figure out, hey, we have an opportunity to go back. And Reed's going to talk to him. He's like, I thought I could find you here. And Grimm's just like, I don't want to go back, man. I don't, I have everything I want. And then that moment, I got chill bumps. Dude, I have chill yeah. bumps on my arms. That moment when they come back and Alicia's blind, it's like, oh my, this, this is a, 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 an art form that is lost. This is not what you read anymore. This How is, many pages is it? It's like 45 pages or something. It was like an that? oversized, what was it? Uh, the, <laughs> it was an anniversary issue. Yeah. It was oversized. It was, yeah. oh my gosh, it was, so and it was like, anniversary issue 236 not 250 or anything like that yeah and i haven't read it in years i mean really i haven't read it in years and i'm remembering and bringing up things without having looked through it even as i'm talking with you today and i challenge you with all those multi arcs and one of sixes and nothing went on on the first issue type thing i challenge you to remember what you read 10 years from now because that's probably at least how long it's been since I've read this issue. Well, we and it's talked about awesome. <laughs> we talked about Mark Mark Wade's run too, you know, mm -hmm. Thursday night and how great it is. And I can say it's a great it's a great run. I love his run of Fantastic Four, but I probably can't pinpoint an issue that really stands out like this did. Yeah, it's so Boston yeah. Comics. You can get John Burns Omnibus, the first volume, for 60, 70 bucks on Amazon. Probably. 
buy it. Buy it and read this issue. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and start, which I started reading from the beginning, but the first couple of issues are team ups with Spider-Man and it's Chris Claremont writing and John Byrne doing the artwork. But uh, we're giving this away. Yule has a physical copy of this issue and he volunteered to give it away. Like we've been talking all week about how much I love this issue. He agreed to give it away. So if you want to enter for a chance to win, put a one in the live chat right now. 